In this video, I'm going to talk about Gillian Weiss's Why I Own a Gun, the introduction of the essay, and what makes it effective. Um, much like the student example that you saw in your Rules for Writers book, um, Gillian Weiss also uses description in order to set off her essay, and this is an effective way of drawing the reader in and also setting the scene for the rest of the narrative. And as we know, there's a difference between the Gillian Weiss essay in that it moves back and forth between narrative and argument, narrative and argument, whereas the Michelle and Guyan piece, the student example in Rules for Writers, gives you an entire narrative and then a reflection at the end. So let's jump in and just read the first couple paragraphs of Gillian Weiss's Why I Own a Gun and see if we can talk about what she's doing effectively here. So she opens up with, I keep a Smith & Wesson in the drawer next to my bed. It's a 38 special with a button that turns on a laser. There is no safety. Each night I set the alarm, lock the bedroom door, charge my phone, and plug my prosthetic leg into the wall. Then I open the drawer and take out the revolver. I keep my index finger along the barrel. If I ever need to use this gun, I will be scared but I know how I will hold it. I have planned the order of my actions should someone break into my home. Call 911 and tell them there is an intruder and I have a gun. Aim the laser at the bedroom door. I have been around guns all my life, but it was not until graduate school that I felt the need to connect with them. Everyone is supposed to like graduate school because the school gives you money or the government loans you money and all you have to do is show up take the exams, and write something. I asked if I could specialize in disability studies. In truth, I just wanted to find a woman with a disability who had written something. And the director said, there is no disability studies, and if there is, you will find it in theory. This is both damning and poetic statement. In one sentence, the director eliminated an entire field, and in the next, he confined disability to the mind, to theory, as if to say, it's not real. And we've, we've read this essay before, so we know that Weiss goes on to then give us the first anecdote of the essay where she is at the, um, at the, the shooting range practicing um, using a gun for the first time. But much like in the student example, this is a very effective opening just in the amount of description that the writer gives us right off the bat. We see her in the bedroom, we see the gun in her hand. We see the laser pointed at the wall. Uh, we see the prosthetic leg plugged into the wall. And we get that sort of heightened emotion. There's even a bit of dialogue that she includes in this introduction to help us set the scene. It's not an action that's taking place in real time, but it's an imagined action. The thing that she will do if it becomes necessary for her to use the firearm. So after this interesting description that she gives us to put us in the moment, she begins to allude to what you could call an implied thesis. Um, and that comes in this sentence right here. She says, I have been around guns all my life, but it was not until graduate school that I felt the need to connect with them. And now the rest of the essay is going to describe for us as readers why it is that she felt that need. And as we know from previous videos and a previous reading of the text, that there's this movement back and forth between like, here's an anecdote that shows you why it is I need to connect with guns. And here's an argument as to why it's okay for women to connect with guns. Here's another anecdote as to why it is that I personally connected with guns. And here's an argument as to why it is that women, um, women gun ownership is something that the author supports. So just thinking about the way in which the writer uses the introduction to just really ground the reader into some description of place, much in the same way that Michelle Nagayan does. And I would ask you in the opening to your own narrative essays to try to imitate this structure because it's a very effective one. 